Hey everybody, John Gums, the Coda Grappler. I am on the road day two. I am just basically on the border of Williston, or actually North Dakota and, and Montana, heading toward Williston. I was just in the very small community of Granora and uh, saw some interesting stuff. You know, it's, it's the name of Granora means the Great Northern Railroad. They got that from that it's three words, the town of Granora. It's, it's basically about as far west and north as you can get in North Dakota. Had a great day so far. It's pretty much the end of my day. I started off in Bismarck this morning, drove back after watching baseball last night in Garrison and slept in my own house there so I could get up bright and early. Got up early, headed up to Minot. Actually went to Velva first, so stopped in Velva, picked up a couple ads there, then cruised to Minot. Then from Minot, cruised around there and picked up my ads there. Did very well again in Minot there. Very generous, but uh, love to get a couple more there. It's such a great wrestling community, but it's really tough to get my ads when you're in a bigger town because you almost have to set up appointments in advance. And I want to make sure I get wrestling people involved. So if you know anybody in Minot that I haven't approached that are wrestling people, that's what you need to do is get in Dakota Grappler. The preview book, which I highlight all the wrestling teams, if you didn't know that. That's pretty much how Dakota Grappler started. But then after Minot, I uh, quickly grabbed, that was almost about you know, 11, 11.30 by the time I got out of there. Then I went up even farther north, went to Kenmare. And then from Kenmare, I think I picked up a new ad there, which usually what's interesting is I go to the reliable returning advertisers, but Sometimes I stop at a couple new places to try to pick up some new ones just in case along the way I, you know, lose one or something like that along the way. But I usually don't. Usually I make sure I get wrestling and sports people and people that believe in, in the program itself. So then from Kenmare, I went down to Stanley. Then Stanley started to head farther west and ended up going up to Tioga. Then from Tioga, I went over to Ray. And then from Ray up to Granora, which I hadn't been in Granora, I can think in my lifetime. But I cruised over into Granora. And I'll tell you what, it's a small town. I, I, it took me about 30 seconds to 45 seconds to drive around the whole town. Stopped at a little credit union and dropped off a sheet. Their, their person that does the advertising wasn't in there. So I was hoping to talk to somebody there. Because Granora's, Granora's had a little bit of success. Very small community. It's had some wrestling in the, last few years Troy Jesperson new coach there and now I'm heading down south on a new road that I have never been on before and I always got to be very you know cognizant aware of my environment because we're still kind of an oil territory so you see large trucks cruising down the road and the road I'm on is I'm not sure if I ended up in Montana or not because I'm right on the border but I'm on a 55 mile an hour road and Kind of a slow, nice little track. It's, you know, 3.30ish. By the time I get to Williston, I'll have one stop today. I'll make other stops right away in the morning because by the time I get there, pretty much all the businesses will be that I advertise with the banks and stuff will be closed. So I've got one quick stop in Williston today yet when I get there. But I have to say, quite successful. I'm very happy on what's happening so far. Everybody's in a good mood. I'm, you know, it's a little... It's greener in some places than others. As I go around North and South Dakota, the importance of agriculture is always huge. You know, we'll be able to see these crops grow and that means that farm equipment will sell and you name it. So it's very important that they get these timely rains. We've had a little rain in the last few days, so it's been really good. And just a reminder that there's some great camps going on out there. Every time I see some, make sure that you send me an email and, and your flyer and I'll make sure I push it out there to all those people because it's always another great opportunity to get some mat time for some guys that aren't playing baseball or even during baseball it's possible but I know the juniors camp cadets and juniors camp is going on in Bismarck right now for the state of North Dakota South Dakota I'm guessing they're training too in a couple places I haven't talk to anybody because I'm pretty much I do North Dakota first for the first two weeks and then I'll head down to South Dakota but next week or let me think by the end of yeah by the end of next week there'll be some wrestling happening in Fargo so they have the juniors and cadets will be wrestling there both Greco and freestyle I'll have to check out what they're doing I usually make a couple sessions I'll 
I've talked to a couple different people there. I was always interested in seeing what's happening. I will make an appearance there and talk to lots of people that deal with wrestling on a, on a life basis. But uh, again, a happy day. It's nice and sunny. It's cool. It's, it's not too hot. It's under 80 degrees. I think right now it's the hottest it's been all day. It's been mid-60s most of the day. It's 77 right now. It shows on my car. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, tomorrow I should be heading toward, you know, just a little bit of Williston. I'll head toward Watford City. Watford City then. I usually will head down... All depends on my time ratio. I'll probably go to Kildeer and down to Dickinson. And then on the way back from there, I should hit Beulah, uh, New Salem, Center. I actually have an adver advertiser there, Hazen. And call it a day, get back Thursday night, maybe play a little bit of softball. If that's possible, it should be fun. And then Friday, uh, we'll see. I, I haven't made any major plans for Friday. If I do, I'll probably pick up a couple small ads in Bismarck and maybe go golfing. So that'd be fun. Go out to Tom O'Leary, catch a couple friends, maybe get around to golfing and enjoy the weekend. Uh, my son, if we don't play softball Thursday night, I know he's got a game, so I'll probably try to catch that if nothing else. Again, John Gumps, Dakota Grappler, your source for wrestling in the Dakotas. If you have any information, I'm still looking for some people who, if they want to sell their communities, get some more ads in the Dakota Grappler. I really want to push now. The girls wrestling has been sanctioned in both North and South Dakota. Last year, South Dakota had their girls wrestling in the state wrestling tournament. This year, North Dakota will have their first official state wrestling tournament for the girls. So we got to push that along. Uh, been very good so far on getting different advertisers, but to include extra space this year for the girls, I need to pick up a few more ads in the budget wise. And I think there's some people out there that really like to push it. I know I'll go, go into Shields, talk to them, and see if they like to promote and make sure you get some girls wrestling shoes in the stores this year because it's going to make a difference. Okay, again, like I said, John Gums, Dakota Grappler, going to go live. In fact, um, I thought I'd go live tonight, but I think it's going to be maybe, I might go live tonight, but it'll be late. And we'll talk wrestling with Bill Holton. If I have an opportunity, I'll get on and do that. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.